Hi, and welcome to this new IDS Dermoscopy podcast. I'm Christian Navarrete, and today we're discussing multiple aggregated yellow-white globules in basal cell carcinoma. I have no conflicts of interest for this talk. Dermoscopy has helped in the diagnosis of BCC, and there are many classic dermoscopic criteria that we all know. But today we're discussing this new criteria called multiple aggregated yellow-white globules. So what are May globules? These are multiple, aggregated, white to yellowish globules arranged in clusters. They are seen in both polarized and non-polarized light. And this is very important because this is the way to differentiate them from shiny white blotches and strands, which are seen only in polarized light, and from media-like cysts, which are seen better in non-polarized light. Let's see this patient as an example. He presented with a pink papule on the left jawline. On the muscopy, you can see this pink background are rising vessels and these white to yellowish globules arranged in clusters. They are seen both in polarized light and in non-polarized light. This is another example of May globules in this BCC on the shoulder. You can see these white to yellowish globules arranged in clusters, both in polarized light on the left image and in non-polarized light on the right image. Another example of amorphia from BCC, you can see arborizing vessels, you can see pink background, but you can also see these globules, they are white to yellowish, and they are arranged in clusters, and they are seen both in polarized and non-polarized light. So, what are the diagnostic features of May globules for the diagnosis of BCC? In this recently published retrospective case control study, including more than 600 non-pigmented lesions in which 40% were BCCs and 60% were controls, May globules were seen in 21% of BCCs and in only 0.8% of other diagnoses, and this was significant. The sensitivity for the diagnosis of BCC when May globules were seen was only 20%. But the specificity was 99% and the odds ratio for the diagnosis of BCC was 32, making the diagnosis of BCC very likely when May globules were seen. May globules were also associated with the BCC location. May globules were more commonly seen on BCCs of the head and neck. 38.7% of BCCs on the head and neck had May globules versus 21% of all BCCs. In this example, you have a pink papule on the lower eyelid. On dermoscopy, you have arborizing vessels and May globules, and this was a nodular BCC. Now, what about BCC subtype and May globules? May globules were observed in 56% of high-risk BCCs, these were infiltrative amorphia form, versus 19% of low-risk BCCs, and this was statistically significant. May globules were 6.5 times more likely to be observed in higher-risk than lower-risk BCCs, and more importantly, they were never seen in superficial basals. In this example, you have this ill-defined pink tumor on the left nose. On dermoscopy, you have a pink background, arborizing vessels, and May globules. This case was an infiltrative BCC. Two of the findings are seen in this case. It was on the head and neck, and it was also infiltrative or high risk. This is a very interesting case. It was referred to us as a superficial basal for topical treatment or cryotherapy. On dermoscopy, we saw shiny white blotches and strands, arborizing vessels, short fine injectasia, but also May globules. On a biopsy, this was a micronodular BCC, and this patient underwent Mohs surgery. Now, what is the histopathological correlation of May globules? May globules are correlated with dystrophic calcification in and around tumor nodules. In this patient, you can see a pink papule on the abdomen. On dermoscopy, you see a pink background, arborizing vessels, and May globules. A biopsy showed nodular basal cell carcinoma and calcification in the stroma. Another case, this is a pink tumor on the right shoulder. On dermoscopy, you see arborizing vessels, pink background, and these multiple aggregated white to yellowish globules or May globules. On a biopsy, this turned to be a nodular basal cell carcinoma with calcification on the stroma. What about DermPath studies and the presence of calcifications in BCC? This study was published back in 2010, and it showed that up to 11% of BCCs had calcifications on biopsies. 
the more aggressive subtypes had up to 44% of calcifications, and calcifications were less likely to be seen in superficial basals. These findings are very similar to our dermoscopic findings of May globules. But May globules are not perfect, and they can have false positives. May globules were seen in 0.8% of non BCCs. Two were desmoplastic thricopitheliomas, which are known to display calcification on histopathology, and one was SCC. SCC can rarely show calcification on histopathology, and according to one study, up to 3% of SCCs can have calcification, so in theory, you can rarely see May globules on SCCs. This is an example of a desmoplastic thricopithelioma with May globules. And finally, what is the differential diagnosis of other white yellow structures seen on dermoscopy? Well, we have May globules, which is seen in both polarized light and non-polarized light. We have blotches and strands, which are seen only in polarized light and they can be seen with non-polarized light. On the other hand side, we have media like cysts, which are seen much better with non-polarized light than polarized light. Then we have other structures from other tumors, which are seen in your daily clinic. White circles of SCC are seen with both lights, and the key features are other squamous cell carcinoma structures, such as keratin, glomerular vessels, or herpin vessels. Then we have white globules of balloon cell nevus, which is also seen with both lights, and the key features are other monocytic structures, such as a pigmented network. Then we have the popcorn pattern seen in sebaceous hyperplasia, which is seen with both lights, and the key here is that the globules are ill-defined, they are not clustered, and the lesions are usually multiple. Finally, we have the white claws of molluscum contagiosum, which are also seen with both lights, but molluscum contagiosum are usually multiple lesions. And this is the last light, and what I want you to remember. May globules appear as a new BCC criteria, they are associated with a high specificity of up to 99% for the diagnosis of BCC. May globules are typically seen on BCCs on the head and neck. May globules are associated with aggressive BCC subtypes, and they are never seen in superficial BCCs. So remember, if you see May, don't spray. And they are also not perfect, they have false positives, such as desmoplastic thricoepithelioma. Thank you so much for your attention.